In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Epson Workforce WF2960 or 2860 to your PC Windows computer. And I'll also show you how to print and also how to scan your documents using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started. So on your control panel, there's two ways that this can be done. First of all, on top here, you can see there's a smartphone with a Wi-Fi symbol and right on the left, there is a router with a Wi-Fi symbol. You can go ahead and click on this icon and this panel will appear. If you're unable to click on that icon, since the screen is quite small, you can actually go at the same place through the menus. So go into settings, general settings, network settings, Wi-Fi setup and we're on the same screen as we were before. So once you're here, you need to click on the first option over here, Wi-Fi recommended. Then select start setup, Wi-Fi setup wizard. Now the printer will scan for every single uh, Wi-Fi network around it. And it will give you this list. You just have to scroll through it until you see your Wi-Fi network appearing. Then you click on it and you have to enter the password. So over here, click on enter under enter password and you have to type it using this keyboard. Once you're done, make sure that you type the right password since the screen is quite small and hard to type. Once you're done, press the OK button. Select start setup. Wait a few seconds. If your Wi-Fi router is far away, it may take a few minutes. And you'll get a blue check mark once the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi. Go into Google and just type Epson with the uh, model name. Mine is WF2960 and then driver. One of the first links should be towards the Epson official website. You should have this page and make sure download it selected. Select your operating system. So over here it's a Windows 10 computer. So I'll select Windows 10, 64 bits because this is what my computer is. Press the go button. It will refresh the page. Now go down and you should get this one, Drivers and Utilities Combo Package Installer. Click on the download button, download it, and then launch this uh, installer. Okay, so mine is here, I'll double click on it. Press yes. Press OK. Press accept then you're not obligated to allow Epson to collect data, uh, your personal data. So you can actually uncheck allow software usage information to be collected and allow product usage information to be connected. You can actually de um, uncheck them and press next. Make sure your printer is turned on and press the next button. Then you should select your printer from this list, press next. Once you get at this screen, it will offer you to install all these softwares, but you're not obligated to do so. Many of them are not very useful for you. So what I suggest is that you keep required software checked and you uncheck the other ones. So I'll uncheck them and just keep the first one and keep uh, pressing on the install button. Then you'll get this screen, press next. You don't have to print a test page. I don't think it's very useful since you can go ahead and print your own documents after this is done, which could be seen as a test page anyway. So again, you'll have to wait a bit till this is loading on. Then press next. This will open. It's just absent trying to make a register your printer, but you don't have to do this. You can go ahead and quit if you don't want to register your printer with them. And once you install the driver, the best thing is always to restart your computer. So go ahead, restart it. 
and now you're going to go in the start button here go into settings go devices press on printers and scanners and then press the plus icon to add your printer here is my Epson printer tap on it and press add device this will appear you just have to uh, go on your printer and press the blue button which is approve wait a few seconds and this message should disappear if it does not disappear so I'll be waiting here open a document you want to print press the print icon make sure your printer is selected on the top and once all these settings are okay with you press the print button don't forget to extend this small plastic flap and here is the result now let me show you how to use the scanner to transfer files using the Wi-Fi so open the top scanner here take your document place it facing down with the top part on the right side make sure that it's aligned with the arrow here so bring the corner of the paper with this corner close down the lid and now over here we're gonna go in the start menu select the settings then devices then printers and scanners and then in this list you're gonna find your printer select your printer then select managed over here on the drop down menu select scanner select open scanner if you do not have the open scanner button you'll have a button to download the app so i'll press open scanner this will open make sure your printer is selected on the top then you can select the file type where this can be saved and press the scan button to finish and scan the document Finally, you'll get a small message that the scan has been done. And over here, you can see it on the desktop. If I double click on it, it will open up whatever I just scanned. So this is it. I hope this was useful. This is how you connect your Epson Workforce WF2960 to your PC computer. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.